right, hi everyone and welcome to Bental Builds. This is Red River in City Skylines and at this point if you're watching you probably know who I am and what Red River is but on the off chance that you don't, I started this little series on TikTok. Really poor production quality. We're talking like using my phone to record my computer screen and then doing that dumb little text-to-speech voice over it with my captions and that's really all it is but a few people told me I should make a YouTube and I figured you know might be fun might as well give it a shot so that's what we're gonna do um this map is called Angel's Cliffs I think I don't remember who it's by because of I, uh, just who I am as a person honestly but I think it's a really neat map. I think there's a lot of potential to it, very Southwestern, but we're gonna get into the history that I made up for this. So these two towns along the river were flooded back in the olden days and were left abandoned. They're just a couple of ghost towns at this point. And this valley was pretty much left abandoned for a while. And then in the Great Depression, this dam right here was built. It's the Franklin Delano Roosevelt Dam. And if you're thinking, that's just some cheap knockoff of the Hoover Dam. No, it's not. Shut up. This was a completely original thought that I had. Okay, so fight me in the desert, specifically the one in this map. Okay, anyway, so the builders of the FDR Dam settled in this town called Red Bend. And after they finished the dam, they kind of just stuck around. And then once the dam filled, more towns popped up. This one is called Franklin. And then there's this one over here called Lumberton. And it's not called Lumberton because of all the trees. It's named after their founder, Jeffrey G. Lumberton. Okay? So get your facts straight before you make assumptions. That's very important. It's what Jeffrey Lumberton would want. So anyway, as time went on, things, especially in Red Bend, started to get more touristy. There was a state park established called Rivertop State Park up there, and then a gondola was built in the town for easier access to Rivertop State Park because the only other way to get to it was to take this really long, windy road, and a lot of it was dirt, and they wanted to get more people visiting. So. Now we're kind of up to the present day, I guess. Um, and that's where we're starting off. So where things are gonna go from here, you'll notice on the other side of the river, there's this cool mountain range, all of these cliffs. And it reminds me a ton of Zion National Park in Utah. And so I'm gonna establish this as a national park which means Red Bend will kind of be like Moab. And then over here in this valley is going to be where the main city is going to be. On the other side of the river, kind of where those trees are. Like, so over here will be like the downtown core. And then on the other side will be more suburbs. And like, I want things to be really walkable, but every city has sub suburbs. So this is going to have them too just nothing too crazy. And then out here will be, you know, more rural, exurban. And then over here will be a lot more agricultural. The one exception is gonna be this area right in here because there's this canyon that goes up the hill and I'm gonna have a road that goes up underneath this bridge. And that bridge is gonna be kind of an entry monument into the top part of the national park, which I think will be a really neat just interesting kind of feature that I want to include. So that's where things are gonna be going. Oh yeah, and one more thing, I wanna have a little like cool state park kind of recreation area for the reservoir over in that area. And like I said, you can download this map on the workshop, uh, Angels Canyon, I did do some more, like some of my own additions. Uh, like the main river was there, but the river that's off to the side and like the lakes that are over there. And like, there's one lake further down 
the that one right there like i added that in um and like the ghost towns i you know added those in myself but the map itself i i did also add the dam but mostly the map itself is pretty much how you can get it on the workshop it's a super awesome map and i am super excited to get started so this is going to be the first town that we'll build together on this channel um, right here in this bend in the river. It'll be kind of the most well-established area. It'll be right across from the downtown, so it'll be just a cool area. So I'll go ahead and outline it. Uh, and one of my biggest goals in this build is going to be to have like a really stark contrast but also a very cool feeling of like the nature and the urban areas kind of playing off of each other like they'll come right up to each other but i want you guys to name this city so i'm gonna i don't want to start calling it dean square so i'm gonna call it the town y'all are supposed to name actually it's a little long maybe the town y'all need to name Yes, that'll, that'll work. So y'all, like in the comments, let me know what you think I should name the town. Uh, try to not give me like super dumb suggestions because I want this to be like vaguely realistic. But you know, y'all are going to be on this journey with me. So I want you to give me some suggestions. You know, it's going to be kind of team effort. So, first thing I think I want to do is to build a connection from that town over this way towards where the interstate kind of splits off so there's an easier connection there. Uh, I think I'll fast forward through this part just because to watch me do it in real time might be a tiny bit boring, possibly. I don't really know. Um... I'm not really gonna have tons to say during this, so I'll probably just let the background music play. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a sec. All right, I'm gonna actually hop back in at this point now that we're getting close to the end. It's gonna be a really big moment for everything to come right together. But I did just wanna say that like, I don't really know what I'm doing. Like I never, you know, took any, I mean, YouTube like video making tutorials, but also even in City Skylines, like I just kind of figure it out as I go. So if you notice things in my video or things that I'm doing in City Skylines that it's like, this would make it so much better or why are you doing this in a way that makes everything harder than it has to be, please let me know. Also, I wanted to point out this, like these little ruins on the hill. I want to do something with these and I'm not totally sure what I want to do. So if you guys have any ideas for that also let me know because i feel like there's potential for something cool i just am not quite sure what yet but anyway let's get back into town the first thing i really want to do is widen out this main road partially because you can't zone off of highways but also because this is going to be a main thoroughfare that goes up the canyon and so eventually it'll need to be widened, but I want to make sure that that happens before I do development so that um, I don't have to destroy buildings later on when things have to get widened. So for now, that's what I'm gonna do. And I know that's not like fully realistic, like the order that that would happen, but you know, I'm gonna take some liberties cause this is my little town. And the road that I'm gonna do, this one, it only has one lane in both directions. So it still is the one lane, it just has the bigger median and spots for parking. So 
technically it's still one lane and then it can be widened to you know two or whatever needs to happen later on but for now i think that that'll fit the needs a little bit better and it'll help for planning towards the future um the next thing i'm gonna do is kind of start on the city's road network and i decided on this that i'm gonna do a grid which I know is not the most popular decision, but the thing is like, just, I feel like for this area, it'll work the best and it'll kind of contrast well with what I'm gonna do on the other side of the river. Cause there's all these different angles and things will be more interesting over there. So I don't know. I, I just think it'll look cool to have some parts that are a clean grid. And like over here is a total cluster. So, I mean, don't worry, it's not only going to be grids, like there will be more, but I think in this spot where it's you know kind of around the bend and all of that, I think it might look kind of cool to have a fairly clean grid as opposed to what will be on the other side. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to fast forward through this part a little bit too, just because it's going to be a lot of the same and that's maybe going to be a little boring. So. I mean, really, this is all it's going to be just for a while is just kind of getting the grid. I'm doing a pretty simple eight by eight grid, which is a little bit small, but I don't really anticipate this area to ever be like super heavy uh, population. You know, it'll no matter what happens, it'll be on the outskirts because <laughs> there's not much growth that can happen up the canyon. And I do plan once there is more traffic to do a lot of traffic control along that main road. So it'll mostly be a few intersections with lights and the rest will be not as controlled access. So like people who are trying to travel through won't have to stop at every single intersection. Um, this other main road that goes the other direction I'm gonna do something kind of different with that. Um, so I'm gonna have it kind of curve off to the side and the reason why is because I want this to be a bridge that'll go over the river to the other side. Um, you know, because the main population is gonna be on that other side of the river, so I think it's smart to do that. And I'm just gonna do a little section of this bridge, kind of get it started to remind myself for later on that's what's supposed to be there. Um, but I feel like that's a pretty solid uh, plan for the future is to make sure that there's another bridge and where it'll go across, I feel like it'll be a very like logical end point. Like there'll be maybe a road that goes along those foothills and all that kind of stuff. So. I think it'll look nice and it'll be a nice transition from the land to the water. I like I like the bridges when they look pretty flat, like I don't like it when it's like a big old hump or whatever, but um, the next thing I'll do is do another kind of main road that sort of loops around and goes along the bank a little bit. I don't want it to be like so, like I don't want it to fully shadow the bank of the river the entire way. But just, you know, I want it to run along it somewhat. Um, I just don't want it to mess up like the smooth off bank for the entire thing. But I'll have it connect up to this road that's kind of on the edge. Um, and I'll try to connect this one up. I, it's not gonna go exactly like a perfect angle like how I want it, but it'll work. That'll be fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, it adds a little more depth to it, I feel like, to have some imperfections. And this, the rest of that road is going to be kind of signified as a more major road with the tree-lined kind of situation. That also makes sure that there can't be cars parked on the sides, which for a higher trafficked road, I feel like it's good to keep people from like trying to parallel park in areas like that. Um, that might not be good, like, well, I guess it keeps people from parking there, but it's going to be on a park. So 
and <laughs> I just noticed all of these fallen trees, which probably implies that there might be some flooding. So honestly, if there's a flood, the entire thing will probably be flooded out, but at least to have the park on the edge to keep the most flood prone area somewhat unoccupied seems wise to me. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. And then this tree-lined kind of parkside road that's kind of more of a major road. I'm gonna bring it back up and try to just connect it back to the highway. I feel like, you know, it's, it's a small enough town that it makes sense for that road to kind of loop around. Um, and I'll just bring this road over and sort of connect it wherever. I don't think it has to be anything too elaborate for this part. So the next thing that I want to work on is to bring some roads up onto the hills. I don't want to continue the grid up onto the hills because I feel like it'll look weird and some of the pieces of this grid are already fairly steep. But um, I'm going to signify this road here also as being a more major route kind of. Um, and the reason why is because I'm going to continue this road up onto the hill. I think that it'll be pretty fitting to have some development up on the hill. And I'll turn on the topography to kind of get an idea, make sure it's a little guided so it looks nicer. But I don't want the development on the top of the hill to be as like tightly packed as it would be in the main part of town. Um, but definitely some residential up there. It'll probably be some higher wealth kind of houses because you know how the obnoxiously rich are. They like to have their houses in the <laughs> less accessible, fancy places with the nice views. <laughs> so that's what's gonna go up on that hill. And this main road is gonna kind of split off and do a similar thing. Um, on another section of the foothills, if I can get it to go up this canyon. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we'll do it that way. Um, so it'll be, in theory, some nicer developments up in there. Um, but overall, especially as the city starts to grow, I think this entire area will be kind of a, like the really fancy, well-established um, part of the city. Technically, it'll be a different part, but we'll get zoning. We're gonna do kind of like the historic American Main Street vibe here. Um, there's not really much more to say. Like, I feel like any town you go to sort of has that vibe, so we'll bring it along the main street and the other kind of main street and I feel like it looks pretty nice um we'll do a little commercial I don't want to have too much um but some along the area where the park is again so just to keep it feeling kind of walkable and some closer to the highway it feels more appropriate to have commercial there than residential but the rest of this will pretty much be residential and for the most part I'm going to keep it lower density just because at this point you know it's still a smaller town like small towns don't typically have a ton of high density type residential development I think later on as things around it start to grow that'll change and I will swap some of this out for higher density development but for now I think lower density is completely reasonable for what we're trying to do um, and really I think that if I play my cards right I can get a nice bus system kind of thing going even in here I did establish some buses up in those smaller towns up the canyon like a little bus network but um, yeah I think I think it'll work so we'll do a little more commercial in here and I will do a tiny bit of high density just in this little corner, kind of give this town a little sort of downtown, um, which I think will look kind of cool. 
Um, but pretty much this is like what the layout is gonna be. We'll do a little more on this side too. I thought about having the park be on both sides, but I feel like that would maybe look a little weird. So um, this is what we'll do for it for now. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much the layout for the city that you guys need to name. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it looks pretty nice. Thank you guys for joining me on this first video. Let me know if you like this format or if you think my voice is super annoying and should just let some music play. I would understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe subscribe if you want. I don't know. Hopefully there will be a lot of videos coming. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Have a lovely day or night or whenever it is that you're watching this. And yeah, I'll see you next time.